In this episode of the Dr. Grant Show, unblock your chakras and stop emotional eating with this EFT tapping sound bath meditation, I'm going to show you how to unblock your chakras and stop emotional eating with EFT tapping. You know, sometimes we don't know where the emotional triggers come from. It could be at a traumatic event or something that happened in the past, but it doesn't hurt any less when they happen. One of the worst things is when you eat out of sadness, anger, or boredom, because usually you'll end up feeling guilty afterwards, which just makes it worth, worse. But there is a really easy way to get rid of all those pesky emotions and to stop emotional eating for good. We will do this all in six steps in just 30 minutes. Are you ready to get into the steps? All right, here's what we're going to cover today. First, all you need is a few minutes of uninterrupted time, some space to relax and open heart. Step two, put yourself in a peaceful state of mind by meditating, doing yoga, or even afterwards, take a walk outside. Step three, close your eyes, take deep breaths through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Step four, identify an emotion you want to release and tap on the corresponding point to release it. Finally, well not finally, step five, tap on each point while repeating I love myself and other phrases that resonate with you. Finally, step six, unblock your chakras and stop emotional eating using this divine EFT tapping sound bath. All right, let's begin, shall we? Number one, all you need is a few minutes of uninterrupted time, some space to relax and an open heart. There was a research study done on energy, psychology, concepts, methods, and principles, such as EFT tapping, distance and Reiki healing, and sound therapy. And one thing that continued to emerge in this study is the intention of the practitioner, as well as the openness and the receptiveness of the person receiving these vibrations as well as these frequencies. Long story short is sound therapy using crystal singing bowls, EFT tapping, which stands for, if you're unfamiliar, emotional freedom technique, Reiki, hypnosis, all these things uh, used to be called rather woo-woo but now, research has shown that they work. Sometimes, even when compared to the traditional methods of psychology, um, CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, for example, in some instances, they are even more powerful. But if you don't have an open heart, if you're unreceptive, if your intention and the thoughts that are flowing through your mind include, this won't work, it can't work on me, then guess what? It won't. So this is why I listed this as step one. Just a few minutes, uninterrupted, so your concentration isn't broken. Find a space that's comfortable for you. And it's extremely important to have an open heart. Step two, put yourself in a peaceful state of mind by meditating. You can also do yoga and incorporate that into your practice. Yoga also has more benefits than just simply the asanas and the positions themselves. Each position and each asana done and performed and executed in yoga intermingles with one's chakras. And the chakras, if you're unfamiliar, are responsible for various acts of energy in the body, um, various feelings, various emotions, for example, the feeling of safety, the feeling of the need to underpurchase or overpurchase things, the feeling of love emanating from your heart chakra. 
My point is, it's important to take time to place yourself in a peaceful state of mind. EFT sound baths and our method, which is called the Divine EFT Tapping Sound Bath, is designed to do precisely that. You see, people that struggle with emotional eating, food addiction, binge eating, nighttime binge eating and food cravings are especially vulnerable when they are not in a peaceful state. And the goal here is to continuously work to be in that peaceful state, whether you are meditating or whether you're just simply taking a walk outside. Let's go on to number three. Your next step will be to close your eyes, take deep breaths through your nose, and exhale out through the mouth. Perform this five times. This tells your brain to down-regulate any emotions that might have been kind of stuffed down that you tried to leave the moment you walked in the door of your home, but they still came with you anyway. Once again, let's start. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. One. Inhale, exhale. With your eyes closed, continue. Two, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four, inhale, exhale. And five, inhale, exhale. With your eyes closed, identify an emotion you want to release. And I will guide you through how to tap to your tapping point to help you release it. In EFT tapping, for those of you that are unfamiliar, EFT tapping has been shown in research studies to be extremely effective with a range of issues from pain, anxiety, depression, establishing a sense of calm, releasing stress, in order to access the benefits of EFT tapping, you tap on the body's meridian points. Each meridian point that you're tapping on for the major meridian points, which are the same meridian points that are covered in acupuncture, these meridian points help unblock trapped energy and it helps also to release energy that may be in your chakra system. Breathe in, breathe out. Have you identified an emotion you want to release? Perhaps even a feeling that has been nagging you. Maybe it's not there with you all the time, but it just floats in and floats out. You begin by taking two fingers on your left hand if you're right-handed, or whichever hand is most comfortable. You can begin with tapping on the karate chop point of your hand, the opposite hand. Breathe in, breathe out. You're currently tapping on the side of your hand. Open your eyes and observe if you wish. And state and repeat after me, even though I've been feeling stressed about my eating habits, I both deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the karate chop point. Breathe in and breathe out.
thumb tapping from the karate chop point on the side of your hand. Raise either one hand or both hands and tap on the top of the head. Breathe in, breathe out, and repeat after me. Even though I ate something I didn't plan to eat. I woke up and I felt so ashamed, so guilty. I both deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the side, on the top of the head. Breathe in, breathe out. When ready, move from tapping at the top of the head to the inside inner eyebrow. You can use one hand or two. In this tapping session, I'll be using one hand so you can clearly see where you're supposed to be tapping and with which hand and which fingers and repeat after me. Even though I didn't have the courage that I needed today to say what needed to be said to that person, that situation, I know I can do better next time. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the inner eyebrow. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. When ready, move to tapping on the outer part of the eyebrow with your two fingers. Remember the emotion that you wish to release. Feel it beginning to drain from you and recede like waves. Breathe in, breathe out, and repeat after me. Even though I may not have shown the patience that I wanted to embody today, this week, this month, 
perhaps for the last few years, I recognize that I am in the process of transformation. I release and let go of any shame, any guilt, and I both deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the outer brow. Breathe in and breathe out. And allow these notes to flow through you. When ready, move to tapping right underneath the eye. And repeat after me. Even though I need to work on giving myself permission to give and receive love and affection. I both deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping underneath the eye with your two fingers. Breathe in and breathe out. When ready, begin tapping on the top of the lip with your two fingers. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel the emotion that you wanted to work on begin to fall away. Feel it releasing its grip on you. Feel your chakras unblocking. Feel them throughout your body becoming free. Repeat after me. Even though I may have had a hard time today fulfilling the expectations of work of those around me, spoken and unspoken. I am still deserving of love. I am still deserving of the position I hold in my career. I am safe. I am clarity. And I both deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the upper lip. Breathe in, breathe out.
When ready, move to tapping the top of the chin. Now we're going to see some very powerful statements. Repeat after me. I attract people that treat me with respect. I give myself permission to receive that respect. I am deserving of receiving that respect. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the chin. Breathe in, breathe out. on the collarbone and repeat after me. I welcome the feeling of being able to create solutions to my problems. I welcome the feeling of knowing I have everything I need inside of me. If I don't see a solution, I can find it. If I don't feel confident, I can still move forward. Every day I step into my power with each decision I make. There is no failure, only lessons. There is no failure, only lessons learned. And I deeply and completely love honor and accept myself. Continue tapping on the collarbone. below your armpit. Ladies, this would be on your bra strap. Gentlemen, this would be four inches below your armpit. And repeat after me. I give myself permission to let go of what I believe my solution should look like. I give myself permission to allow the divine to present me with the solution. I give myself permission to surrender to the solution, to allow myself victory.
I trust that the divine, whatever it is I believe in, is moving out ahead of me, making crooked roads straight, lining up all the right people. All I need to do is surrender and calm down and believe in myself. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping underneath your arm. Breathe in, breathe out. Once again, breathe in, breathe out. Now, the true test of our tapping session is to check on how you feel right now. Compared to when you began with the emotion that you were looking to release, on a scale of one to 10, compared to how you started and how you felt about that emotion, 10 being this emotion is unbearable. I don't know how I'm going to make it through. With three and below being, I'm okay. I can manage this emotion. R rank, where you feel yourself on this scale now. I imagine that you have significantly improve. The goal is to have these spinning energetic wheels and discs just turn at the right speed clockwise and not stall or stop. When you're feeling in perfect sync, perfect flow, you're executing the purpose that you feel that you are graced in, these chakras spin freely and uninhibited at just the right speed. The reason why I'm talking about this with you and the reason why it's so important for people that struggle with emotional eating, stress eating, food addiction, nighttime binging, binging period, is because often if one or any of these chakras are out of alignment, it impacts and bleeds into your life. It affects your confidence, it affects your creativity, it affects your physical symptoms of your body because of that trapped energy, because now this energy is being spent in the direction of being trapped, dealing with an illness, for example, dealing with these negative feelings, dealing with feelings of inadequacy, and when you're not fully released, because there's so much energy being spent in areas that they're not supposed to be spent in, you're unable to function at full capacity. And for those that are vulnerable to emotional eating and stress eating, this means that the body, in its desire to achieve a level of homeostasis, a level of serotonin and dopamine balance, this results in one finding themselves binge eating at night. 
eating ice cream, for example, or eating a lot of chips, depending upon which side your palate is on, sweet versus savory. If you are on the sweet side, then you're imbibing in chocolate, ice cream, candy, cookies, because it provides you with a very much needed boost of serotonin and dopamine. If you're on the savory side, then you're imbibing in other aspects, for example, such as chips, something salty, and you're eating beyond the point of feeling full because the eating and the comfort that you're getting and that sense of fullness is really to compensate for another place where you're feeling empty. I once had a client that I talked to that struggled with nighttime binge eating and it turned out the reason why she was binging at night was because of the stress that she was dealing with during the day from her job. She was actually working in a job just to pay the bills and she was compensated quite well, but it wasn't what she wanted to do or be. So. It doesn't mean you need to leave your job. What it simply means is you just need to find a different way to integrate the aspects of your life that make you feel fulfilled. And we designed an actual career plan where parts of her job can become happier and satisfying. And it was easy to do because she was able to open up her throat chakra and actually express what it is that she truly wanted and she began to get more plum and choice assignments that resonated with her. Another gentleman that I worked with is a entrepreneur and although everything else in his life is perfectly fine in terms of his family, his business was stressing him out due to the pandemic. He found he wasn't able to manage the clients, not through any fault of his own, but just purely because a lot of vendors he worked with had gone out of business, so it made it harder for him to fulfill orders. I showed him a very unique way to actually identify and locate new vendors. You see, in my virtual wellness practice, this is about more than when you're working with someone and when we're talking and designing and showing the Phoenix Six Smith, this is about more than giving you recommendations on what to eat or how to eat or just breathe in and breathe out or just listen to a sound bath, although quite helpful. We take an integrative, functional approach, a practical approach that's based in science to your specific challenges that you're dealing with. This ensures you get the solution that you need. If this sounds like something that's been missing from your life, feel more than free to log on to edibleaddiction.com and book a free get to know you session. Thank you so much for watching the Dr. Grant Show. <laughs> much love to you, bye.